Welcome back Terriers! We have finally started our fall semester with our Back to Brooklyn guidelines. I know this has all been a very challenging time for us, so I just wanted to take a moment to thank all our first responders and all those in St. Francis College who are working very hard to make sure our safety gets put first. Now, let's get right into it. This past Friday, we honor all those who passed from the tragic event 9-11. We must continue to remember all those who put their lives on the line to save others. Joe Biden visited the Flight 93 Memorial to pay tribute to families and lost loved ones. Biden also made a trip to New York City to pay respect to victims at Ground Zero. He stated, I'm not going to make any news today. I'm not going to talk about anything other than 9-11. That's how we're going to keep it. With that being said, all victims' names were read as families were on the sidelines mourning the pain and loss they suffered. God bless all those who sacrificed for this country and for those who continue to stay strong after losing their loved ones. On another note, wildfires continue to spread along the West Coast. It has posed a health hazard to millions. It has been reported that 97 large fires have burned more than 6,200 square miles across the West Coast. There have been evacuation orders for 40 large fires in California, Oregon, Washington, Colorado, Idaho, and Utah. While many continue to evacuate, many firefighters continue to battle these horrific wildfires. More are expected to come in the months of September and October due to the rising cooling temperatures. Let's hope things progress in the West Coast. Moving on, storm surge warnings are in effect as Tropical Storm Sally moves to the Gulf of Mexico this past Saturday night. Storm Sally is expected to create mass rainfall of 5 to 10 inches all across southern Florida. Many are concerned with the floods and tornadoes that may transpire due to this storm. While this and other hurricanes have gained a notable title, Tropical Depression, people are waiting for hurricane season to be over which is expected to be on November 30th. Next, my fellow co-star Julian will be discussing all things entertainment. Thank you, Ivana. Today I'll be suggesting three movies you should watch. Number one, Project Power, starring Jamie Foxx and Joseph Gordon-Levitt. Project Power is based on a movie about um, a special pill that people take and it takes about five minutes to activate powers. Where, what happens is it hits the streets of New Orleans and a teenage Deanna, she ends up teaming up with a cop and the ex-soldier to try to get these pills out of the streets of New Orleans. Number two, I'm thinking of ending things. Starring Jesse Phenons and Jesse Buckley. I'm thinking of ending things pra is based on a young woman who travels with her new boyfriend to his parents' secluded farm, but ends up finding out that her and her new boyfriend do not connect no more. Number three, the sneakover, starring Sadie Stanley and Maxwell Simpkins. The sneakover is based on Two siblings who discovered their seemingly normal mom turns out to be a former thief in witness protection who has been forced to go back to her past for one night. Both siblings end up teaming up to rescue her and try to have an amazing packed action night. Go check out all three of these movies on Netflix. I'm Julian Steve with your weekly entertainment. Back to you, Ivana. Thank you, Julian. Now here's Connor with the latest sport update. Take it away, Connor. Thanks, Ivana. In the NHL world tonight, the Islanders lost by a score of 4-1 to one to the Tampa Bay Lightning, which gives the Lightning a 3-1 to one series lead, which means they only need one more win to make it to the Cup Finals, which they have not been to in multiple years. In MLB, the Yankees won by a score of 3-1 to one against the Baltimore Orioles. They, Zach Britton had the win there. They scored two runs in the eighth inning to take the lead and take the, the dub. In the NFL, the Giant, I mean Jets, excuse me, lost 27-17 to to the Bills. And they made the Bills look pretty good. 
Uh, Adam Gase was upset he put Bell in the uh, in the game with a hamstring injury. Uh, he regrets himself his decision for that. But the Bills looked like a really strong AFC East team after today, and they they will be going forward. And the Washington football team pulled off a big comeback. They were down seventeen to nothing and scored twenty seven unanswered points to beat the Philadelphia Eagles tonight. And Patriots new newly acquired quarterback Cam Newton was really strong today. He had two rushing touchdowns and another handoff to Sonny Michelle for a third touchdown. And he helped the Patriots to a twenty one to eleven win. And the new Buccaneers quarterback, Tom Brady had two picks, one for a pick six, and he rushed in a touchdown, and he also had two passing touchdowns, which, unfortunately, the Bucks fell to the New Orleans Saints, 41-23. to And the Denver Nuggets came from behind and beat the LA Clippers to force a Game 7. Thanks for the update, Connor. There are some new events coming up this week at SFC. Here's Brian for more information on the on-campus news segment. Thank you, Ivana. SFC Advisements Driven by Dreams Development Series will be having an info session Friday, September 18th from 2 o'clock to 3 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. This is an ongoing four-part workshop series during the fall 2020 semester, open to all SFC students. If you're interested in developing as a student leader, want to develop some great skills that can transition to your professional life, contact Megan Davis with any questions you may have. In other news, SFC Virtual Club Fair begins this week, starting today with academic clubs. Each day at 4 p.m., there will be a meet and greet for academic, cultural, special interest, Greek life clubs, and the Student Government Association. You can RSVP for these events by emailing studentactivity at sfc.edu. Today it's academic, tomorrow it is cultural clubs. Wednesday, special interest, Thursday, Greek life, and Friday, Student Government Association. This has been the Campus News with Brian Mansell. Back to you, Ivana. That's all for today. I'm your host, Ivana Grandich, coming virtually to you from Terrier TV. I hope you all have a safe and good day.